Hi everyone, welcome to the Passive Income YouTube channel. Today we are going to talk about research and how to set up four free nodes on Oracle server. A little introduction about research. It is a decentralized search engine based on blockchain technology. It aims to replace Wave 2.0 products such as Google search engine. The nodes for the pre-search engine is decentralized. Anyone can host the node for pre-search engine. Further, you can also earn pre-tokens by staking 2000 pre-tokens on each node. Pre-search is based on blockchain technology. It provides search engines. It provides pre-tokens to stakers. Uh, you can run the search nodes and also you can stake uh, pre-tokens on keywords so that there will be more traffic on your node so that you can earn more pre-tokens. Today I am going to show you how to set up a free node on Oracle Cloud Server. You will get a free 30 day trial, also 300 free credits as well as uh, all these nodes which you will run on Oracle Server which has these configurations is free for lifetime. There is a huge potential for pre-search token. As you can see, it was near to one dollar in 2018, and recently it was around 0.44 cent. Today, on 25th April 2022, the price of pre token is 0.15 cent. It provides huge potential in next crypto run, and also they are going for minute launch on 26th of May. So the items which you need for installing pre-search is OT software, then Windows installed computer, free account on Oracle, and 2000 pre-tokens. First of all, we are going to download OT software. So just search P-U-T-T-Y and we will download from this link. After installing Putty software, we are going to log in into Oracle Cloud. We are going to launch a VM instance. In the VM instance, all these are same. We are going to change from Oracle Linux 8, change image. We are going to choose Canonical Ubuntu. We are going to save this private key and also public key. Next, we are going to create this instance. So a new instance has been created. So this is our IP address and this one is the Ubuntu is our username. Uh, this is our operating system Canonical Ubuntu. We are going to click on connect to a running Linux in instance. Over here, we will choose to connect to a Linux instance from a Windows system using Putty. These are the steps which we are going to follow. First of all, we will change the dot .key private key file to create a new file. And then we will follow these steps. So we are going to start Putty Gen. This is Putty's an app. In this one, we will choose select over here on files. We will choose the file with the file name dot key. After successfully importing this file, we are going to save this private key. So the extension of new private is .ppk. Next, we are going to open Putty. In the Putty, we are going to follow on these steps. First of all, we will provide the IP address. This one is the IP address which we can copy and add into this Putty software. 
next the port is 22 as mentioned over here and our connection type is ssh in the category pan so in the category pan we have windows and in the windows we are going to choose translation so the translation should be utf8 in the connection section again we are going to click on ssh and in ssh we are going to click on uh, authorization in the authorization section we are going to provide the private key which we have generated so this is our private key and then we will click on open so it is asking for accepting this uh, connection so we will accept this connection so we have connected to the Linux server now we are going to install the pre-search login as you need to type a uh, username that is ubuntu the node setup for aws account is same as oracle server so we are going to follow these steps first step we have already completed next we are going to start from sixth step so we are going to copy this one and over here right click enter In the next step, you need the registration code. So we are going to copy this registration code. So we are going to copy this registration code and put over here information about your system that is Docker engine. Provide the Docker as you can see that it is up updating the pre-search node. You need to add registration code over here. Remove this one and copy this one then paste. Finally, we are going to institute ninth step. Uh, as you can see, the pre-search node is running. Uh, node is listening for searches. Now we can close this tab. In the Oracle Cloud Server, you can see that I created a new node. So we can see the stats over here and we can stake on this link. So there is no description. We can add pre-search node 3. If you have pre-tokens, then you can directly add whatever the pre-tokens which you want to add and click on send email on disconnect and update this one. So back to the node list. So pre-search node 3 is running and it is active. After few hours, it will start showing you uh, the reliability score. One is having reliability score of 83. Another is having reliability score of 80. So both are running and I have staked 2000 tokens in first one and 2441 tokens in the second one. Over here you can see the average liability score then average uptime almost 100%. Average utilization rate is 2%. For purchasing pre-tokens you can use coinex.com because the fee is quite less as compared to other exchanges. I paid around 70 pre tokens as a fee. So over here you can see my purchase. I sent around 0.26 ETS to CoinX. On CoinX.com you can swap uh, either Bitcoin or Ethereum into pre tokens. You need to go on asset and click on deposit. In the deposit section you need to choose currency so i choose like uh, eth on this address you can send the erc token after sending the ethereum tokens you need to click on swap over here swap then you will get the swap feature and then whatever you want to convert you can click on and convert this is the rate of one eth is equal to 19139 pre and there is a fee of 0.3%. So you can convert any amount of uh, ETH. So it is around 2300 uh, pre tokens you can get for 0.12 ETH. 
the fee is seven pre tokens and it is quietness as compared to other exchanges and it is also dynamic it keeps on changing based on the demand and flow after converting uh, eth into pre tokens you need to go back to your pre search and click on transfer pre then select from blockchain you need to copy this address as you can see i transferred 4401 pre tokens on this address in the asset section click on withdraw select pre coin and then it will show fee is equal to 200 pre again you need to wait for a low gas fee if the ethereum gas fee is high then you can wait for some time i paid around 60 pre as a fee that is around six dollar for transferring coinx to pre-search wallet address and this is your pre-search wallet address then you can provide the amount and then you can submit further you need to give the approval for the transaction through your email id you do not need to perform any kyc if your withdrawn amount is less than 10,000 USD. So this is my transaction. I performed this transaction the day before yesterday. So I paid around like $6 for transferring. A few details about pre-search dashboard. This is 4,442 pre-tokens which I have already staked. You can also buy pre-tokens from pre-search marketplace. This is pre-search marketplace. You can purchase uh, pre-tokens from using bitcoins or ethereum or using your credit card. Next this one is the unclaimed pre-tokens. So uh, both of these my nodes made around 8.4 pre. This is pre-search reward means if you use my affiliate link then you will get 25 pre-tokens as free. When you send your pre-tokens from Coinex into pre-search uh, wallet, it will take around 10 to 12 minutes to show into your uh, pre-search wallet. So do not worry about that. And when you click on claim this link, then the pre-search token will go into your savings account and it will become available for a staking, which you can stake into any of your address. Further, you will also get uh, like uh, small pre tokens like 0 0.09 uh, pre tokens for every search which you do using pre search. You can set up four free pre search node using Oracle Cloud Server. That's all about pre search. You can set up and earn pre tokens. Each pre search node is earning around two to three pre tokens daily. Please like and subscribe for more updates. See you next time.